I got my first bike when I was four. Um, it was a birthday present and uh, my old man said run out to the shed and get, pick up a sp spanner or something for me. So I ran out there and there was a bike there and it was mine. So I was pretty pretty pumped and just started riding. We lived on a farm and in the middle of nowhere and I just started riding around the farm. And then uh, I did that until I was 11 and uh, then I went to my first race. I'd been wanting to go for ages but uh, it took a wee while for the old man to take me. Started racing when I was 11 and uh, just raced locally, then South Island wide in New Zealand and then New Zealand wide. And then when I was 13, I had my first trip to, to Australia for the Australian Junior Championships. And then when I was 15, I started going to Asia, doing the Pan Pacific. And uh, 15 and 16, did all over, a lot of races in Indonesia and all over, turned pro at 16. And then at 17, I went to Europe and uh, raced in Europe for 16 odd years. And, that, and now I'm back in Australia and uh, that's sort of been my career really. Well, when I first went to Europe, I was 17 and it was, when I, I remember getting there and it, it was a really weird feeling because uh, it was the first time I'd seen European people that didn't speak English. So uh, it was freezing cold. Uh, there were so many things to adjust to. No one really spoke English, it was just, a, Weather was freezing. You know, it just seemed strange to go out riding and training in the in the ice and the snow. And but it quickly warmed up, and it just took a long time to adjust. And it really took me two or three years to kind of find my way. I was too busy worrying about day-to-day -day stuff, actual day-to-day -day living, rather than my riding. Rather than leave the track and say, "Oh, where was I good today? Where was I bad?" I was leaving the track thinking. Have I got enough money? What have I got to do? What's happening this week? Uh, where are we driving to? I didn't know where I was driving. I didn't know nothing. So, um, and I was quite young and I was on my own. So it wasn't until I sort of got 18, 19 and started to mature that I could sort of handle that pressure. And then I started to improve and show what I was capable of. It was kind of a shame because I really wasted three years. But um, at first I really didn't like it. I just was there for racing and that's what I needed to do. But then over time, I started to understand the culture and understand the people and, and now uh, Europe's home away from home. Uh, I've got a lot of friends and, and even family from there so uh, I'm looking forward to getting back and uh, seeing them later this year. Um, most memorable moment racing was when I won in Ireland in uh, 2006. I had had half the year out injured with a shoulder reconstruction and Stefan Everts had been unbeaten and I came back and beat him. I was the only guy to beat him that year, Stuart. He beat Stuart at the Nations and uh, I beat him twice. So uh, that was Desert Martin in Ireland and we lapped up to third place. So uh, it was pretty, probably the best I've ever ridden in my life. And uh, it was just one of those days where it all clicked and uh, I managed to beat him and, and also win the day and, and, and lap all my competition. So um, it was a pretty amazing feeling. That was, that was racing wise. Um, personally, I think uh, the birth of my daughter uh, she was born in England and uh, also with regards to the actual living, I lived in Belgium but I didn't really like it there. I um, lived there because it was great for racing, a lot of tracks for training and a lot of uh, support for motocross as a sport. But uh, the last two years of my career in Europe I lived in England and I preferred that a lot better. It was more social and uh, I had a great time. You know, I really, it was, it was hard and it was tough but it was very rewarding at the same time. I think the difference, biggest difference of the racing in Europe is the tracks. You know, we go from, you look at, you watch America and uh, a lot of the tracks are quite similar, ripped up, nice dirt, and uh, it's, it's, the tracks are fairly similar compared to Europe where we've got deep, deep, deep sand of Holland and, and, and uh, Belgium, some rock, rock hard tracks in uh, Spain and Portugal and Italy, some uh, grassy tracks in England and uh, stony tracks in Czechoslovakia and it was just a real mixture and also the weather you know uh, we have a lot I think a lot more wet races and also uh, the culture and the fans the fans are so intense in Europe they're really uh, they're very much passionate about a rider and I'll follow that rider through thick and thin follow him through good days and bad days and, and really support that rider and uh, very fanatical. So uh, I think that's probably the biggest difference that makes Europe stand out. Any of the American riders or even riders like Chad Reed that have been over to the nations, really the, the fans really stand out I think uh, to those guys.